So then airborne from Bishkek on board the Avia Traffic Company A320 heading to Moscow. Well, hello for the last time from Bishkek, the capital city of Kyrgyzstan. And today, well, we're leaving Kyrgyzstan and heading up to Moscow in Russia. Today, we're flying on an airline called Avia Traffic Company, which is the largest international airline in Kyrgyzstan. So come with me, let's head across to Manas Airport and take a ride with Avia Traffic. Right, well, before we head to the airport, I need to have a little bold and bankrupt moment. Just excuse me one second. Guys, check this out. Look what I found. It's an abandoned Soviet cafe. Here on the streets of Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan. And right just here is where the local babushkas back in the Soviet times would come here and drink their tea and eat borscht and listen to the sounds of the latest up and coming Soviet artists like Edward Kiel. I, I, I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's head to the airport. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't think he's got anything to worry about. In any case, it's time for me to head to the airport. So bye bye Bishkek and Kyrgyzstan on our way now to Manas International Airport to take Avia traffic uh, back to Moscow. One thing um, about entering Russia at the moment, you need to have a PCR test within 72 hours and I was a bit worried about how I do that. Um, but fortunately my hotel had been really good and they literally arranged it all for me and they came to my room yesterday morning, did a Covid test in my room and I've got my results back um, right now when I check out so that's absolutely perfect so I can head to the airport, show them my PCR test and we get on our way to Moscow, Russia. So what, Kyrgyz Airlines, are they good? Do you, you like Kyrgyz Airlines? Kyrgyz Airlines? I don't know. <laughs> never, never be in the, uh, I'm the sitting in plane only one uh, when I'm going to Moscow. Ah, uh, okay. And who did you fly with? Russian Air Company. Ah, Aeroflot. I, 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 Aeroflot, yes. Ah, that's it. Because I think that our planes can, can, can uh, crash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> you can you can be king in Kyrgyzstan or be a, um, a standard uh, tourist who come to one day yes. in Switzerland. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but you can live in Kyrgyzstan ten days from king. Yes. <laughs> you are come here. So come to Kyrgyzstan, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. It's cheap and it's beautiful. Yes. Yeah, my flight at five, so so are we we good. Why you have all this? Ah, uh, because I don't know how long it takes passports and uh, uh, yes. <coughs> Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, it could take hours. You know. <laughs> <laughs> have a lovely day. Thank you. Uh, good plane. Good, uh, good, good flight. To fly it to British. Yes, and I hope I don't crash. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Let's don't, not crash. Don't, yeah. don't crash. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. With that helpful advice, it was time to head into the airport. So I made it to the airport here at Bishkek Manas International Airport. I beg my taxi driver, <laughs> what a character he was. <laughs> But um, here ready to take my flight with Avia Traffic Company and if you are going to take an international flight from Kyrgyzstan with a Kyrgyz airline you're probably going to be flying with Avia Traffic because they are the largest airline here albeit not to the European Union because they are banned along with all of the other Kyrgyz carriers from flying into the EU um, on safety grounds but you can fly them to Moscow which is what we're doing today and they've got a fleet of 737-300s and A320s no idea which one's which that we're going to get today they're all about 30 years old they're all of a similar sort of vintage so we'll find out when we get on board so um, I'm going to eat my Shashlik, shashlik flavoured crisps and um, wait for the check-in to open so we can get on our way to Moscow with Avia traffic. Before check-in there's a check of your PCR test as well as a check to make sure you've completed the form needed to enter Russia. Right, 
all checked in, off we go to Moscow. through to the gate area here at Manas Airport. There are two Avia traffic planes out there at the minute. There is a 737-300 and an A320 as well. Um, not sure which one of those we'll get. They're both about 30 years old, um, but we'll see. Um, we'll see when we get to board, which one is gonna be our ride up to Moscow today. Lots of good stuff outside though. You've got an Antonov 32 over there and Tesjet 146s and a 747 as well over there, which is pretty cool. It's a nice little airport, this. Just really shocking to get through as a passenger. <laughs> now knowing what airlines in this part of the world can be like for losing your luggage, I have fitted my um, suitcase that I've checked in with an air tag, so we're going to be able to track it all the way through. Um, how cool is this? So. On there right about now it's still well it's still downstairs at the check-in hall um it's not made it airside yet but oh hang on it's just updated it's now airside so i'm with my headphones and my bag is sort of down there so yeah. it's at least made it through into the business lounge here at Manas using priority pass because clearly there's no like business class or anything on Avia traffic. Um, so I use my priority pass to get in here and it's okay. Some decent views over the action there if you get a window seat which I haven't got but I might move over there in a bit and I've got a bit of food as well and some drink. I've no idea what these are by the way. But they look sort of reasonable, and then I've got some um, some of the traditional Kyrgyz beer. Try these pastry things as well. Samosa almost. It's good. I just checked the strength of this beer that I'm drinking because I think it tastes nice. It's a bit strong though. It's the 11% <laughs> strong Kyrgyz beer. Turn me into a man. It'll grow me like a little fluffy hat and a big beard and make me look very Kyrgyz. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Hey, at least it will take away my worries about the flight with the band airline. So, how's that? Cheers. So they've just pulled over the A320 to the Jetbridge gate. So it looks like that is going to be our ride up to Moscow today. And it's got an interesting history, this one. Um, it was delivered 27 years ago to Air Lanka in Sri Lanka. It was damaged in the um, attack on Colombo Airport in 2001. And then it's had a very life since then. It's gone to Mexicana, Sky Airline, Chile. Danish Air Transport had it for a bit and now it's with Avia Traffic Company here in Kyrgyzstan. So yeah, quite a life this aircraft's had, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like on board. Right, time to go and get on board the plane, heading to Moscow. Moscow, right? Right, 
Let's do this. Avia Traffic Company. Let's go to Moscow. Thank you. Right on board Avia Traffic A320 heading to I've already told you where we're going like 50 times um, but on board the Avia Traffic A320. Nice wind of you. And a little bit tired condition. Legroom's not brilliant but um, for the most part not too bad although this is a four hour flight so we'll see how I feel at the end of this but um, yeah so far not too bad. Um, Let's see what happens as we head northward. No, north west, north westward <laughs> on the um, Avia traffic A320. I right, just thought I'd check find my and see where my, my where my luggage is with my air tag in it. And it says it's with me. So it's on the plane, that's good. It's made it on the plane, we know that much. I just hope it makes it off the plane at Moscow. <laughs> Right back to Moscow then took us northeast across Kazakhstan towards Domodedovo Airport in Moscow. Flight time today was 4 hours and 4 minutes, cruising at 34 and 36,000 feet. So then airborne from Bishkek on board the Avia Traffic Company A320 heading to Moscow. About three and a half hours left to run now. Uh, we took off about sort of 20 minutes ago. And so far, not too bad. The seats are okay. It's a bit tired, a bit worn out, but generally it is a lot better than I expected, um, which is quite nice. It's a really full flight tonight. Um, Bishkek, Moscow, one of the busier routes in this part of the world, connecting people with Moscow from all over the um, CIS region of Central Asia. So it's, it stands to be said that um, it is a very, very busy route. The scenery so far quite good. We're over Kazakhstan at the minute, just approaching Aktob in Kazakhstan view over there is just phenomenal over the deserts of um, Kazakhstan. So yeah, it should be a good flight. Looking forward to this a lot. I don't know if there's going to be any service or anything on board. Um, I didn't see any food being loaded on, but that doesn't mean that there isn't any food being loaded on. Um, it's a four-hour flight, so I'm curious to see what we'll get on sort of a flight this long, um, especially as it is all economy class. Not sure what we're gonna, not what's going to happen, what we're going to get, but um, yeah, it's all right so far. And I have to say, for the age of the aircraft as well, it's 27 years old and has survived being attacked in an airport attack. <laughs> it's in pretty decent nick, I have to say. There's a few signs that if it's age, you can see just here. Look, there's a bit missing on there, and the wall here, a little bit chipped away. And the seats are a little bit tired, but I mean, this aircraft is, come on, it's like 27 years old, still flying, still in decent condition, it's pretty good really. Um, so yeah, so far so good. 
To be honest, any aircraft that survived an attack like this one and is still flying today is good enough for me. Sure, it's a little battered around the edges, but on the whole, this aircraft seemed in really good condition. Um, my luggage, by the way, is still with me. There's me. There's me back over the deserts of Kazakhstan. That's awesome. <laughs> so my bag is underneath my feet as I speak. That's really good to know. These air tags are brilliant for stuff like this. You know, I'm not sponsored by Apple. I wish I was, but um, for stuff like this, chucking your bags, it's brilliant. About an hour into the flight, the crew started coming around with bottles of water. There's no food on Avia traffic, not even a buy on board service, so I had a bottle of water and continued my binge viewing on Netflix. And speaking of Netflix and chill, it's time to talk about protection. Protection of your personal information online. See what I did there? While I'm traveling and even while I'm not, one of the key parts of my tech arsenal is Surfshark. It's a VPN that protects my data from nefarious goings on wherever I am in the world. I have it on my phone, my iPad and my Mac and it protects my personal information wherever I am. It means I can catch up on Netflix shows such as The Office or listen to my Spotify playlists even when I'm in countries where that's not possible. I just flick on the VPN and I'm browsing the net just like I'm at home. It's also great to let me access my favourite streaming sites on Wi-Fi that may block streaming altogether. Through a VPN, your data is completely encrypted so you can sit and watch your favourite TV shows even at 39,000 feet. Surfshark are offering you an 83% discount and 3 months free when you use my promo code Noel Phillips at the link on the screen now. Ok, we just got an announcement in Russian and all of a sudden the whole aircraft has stood up. I don't know. I mean, they're about to start kicking people out, I don't know. <laughs> All right, it appears they are coming around to start checking everybody's COVID results and that they filled in the form, so. Even though they've already done that twice at the airport, but apparently a third time is needed, so. All right, so they checked the first five rows and then just sort of gave up and went back to the galley, so who knows? At least we know five rows of people have done the COVID test. <laughs> So I do believe we are about to start our descent, or we have just started our descent actually down into Moscow de Mudadovo. We've got about mm, 200 miles left to run, about half an hour of flight time, but um, we have just started our descent down into the Moscow area to commence our approach and landing into Domodedovo International Airport, Moscow. <laughs> By the way, now would probably be a good time to remind you that if you like the t-shirt I'm wearing, this lovely Boeing A380 t-shirt, you can get that and many more items of merch in the merch store at noelphillips.com. down safe and sound. For some reason as we taxied in the pilots decided the taxiway needed a bit of drying off and decided to pull in the reverse thrust again. Uh, yeah I've absolutely no idea what all that was about but we'd made it to Moscow. My flight to Moscow today cost me 287 pounds or 16 pence per mile. 
Avia traffic, well, they were alright I guess, but I can definitely see why the locals prefer to fly with Aeroflot on this route. Now we got there on time today, but this flight does seem to be delayed or cancelled quite a lot, and Aeroflot's fleet certainly seem in much better condition than Avia traffic's on the same route. As always, I'd like to say a big thanks to my Patreons. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, live weekly Zoom calls with me, and much more. So welcome to Red Square in Moscow. This is just absolutely incredible. The last time I was here on this spot, I was 11 years old on my first ever international trip to Moscow on my school trip, as I've spoken about quite a bit before. Um, and that was 30 years ago. <laughs> and this is the first time I've been here in 30 years. And it just, the memories just coming here, just flooded back, walking across this square with all of my school friends and, um, having my photo taken in front of St Basil's Cathedral behind me, just absolutely, it's, it's incredible. And I've got a bit of a tear in my eye, I must say. Um, it just is really, really special. I, I can't even tell you how emotional it is walking through it. I've literally had tears in my eyes walking through it. This trip to Russia at the age of 11 was sort of the trip that not only started my love of aviation, but my love of travel in general. And without Moscow, well, this YouTube channel probably wouldn't exist and without St Basil's Cathedral behind me that I swooned over for years before getting the chance to actually come and visit it myself well we wouldn't be here today doing this and um, it's just such a beautiful city and coming back after 30 years it's just really really incredible I've thought about this I've dreamed about this place for years ever since I visited it as an 11 year old and Oh, we're back. <laughs> Just love it. Now, in Moscow for a little bit, we're going to do a little bit around here in the west of Russia. So, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.